welcome to AWE Friday Fury. This week, you'll see the Hammer, Sean Stryker, taking on Purple Knight number two. And we are just a few short days away from AWE Guilty as Charged, the 28th of January. Let's run down the card for this huge event. The main event of Guilty as Charged on January 28th, Dr. Phil goes one-on-one -on -one with Aslan with the AWE World Wrestling Championship on the line. Dr. Phil has held the belt since May of 2005. We'll see if he can leave with the title. And now, Pirate will take on Juggernaut and Bronx Bomber and Jay, a four-way elimination match to crown the first ever AWE America's Champion. This is going to be a historic contest, the first ever four-way elimination match in AWE history. And now, let's take a look at Matt Moriani taking on the Hammer, Sean Stryker. Another big matchup coming up on January 28th at Guilty as Charged. These guys tore the roof off at Darkest Hour in December. Let's see what happens in this rematch on January 28th at the AWE Arena in Alfred, New York. And we'd like to thank Fort Minor for contributing Petrified. Their album, The Rising Tide, is in stores now. And speaking of the hammer, Sean Stryker, let's take a look at him in action against Purple Knight number two, right here on Friday Fury. From parts unknown, Alaska, Purple Knight number two. Purple Knight number two in the ring. You might have to blur the front of that shirt from what it looks like. He, Purple Knight number two, uh, apparently is confused about his number, or his, his name rather. Now we're waiting the arrival of his opponent, the Hammer Sean Stryker. We'll be facing Matt Mariani in just a few days, eight days away from their big contest at Guilty as Charged. And there he is, the Hammer Sean Stryker, coming to the ring. The crowd pops for the Hammer. In the front row at this show is famed documentary producer Robert Klein. I'll get back to him in just a moment. Purple Light number two, getting a rare bout of offense in. Jumping the hammer right before the bell. And now he's opening up on him with those kicks right to the back. Bulldog applied. Almost looks like an arm bar by the, by the hammer. Yes. Headlock with the arm. Sean Stryker really working him over in the early going. Trying to get out of it. Purple number two able to get out. He goes for the cover. Where's the referee? And he could very well have had him right there. Come on. And Matt Mariani didn't count him down. Matt Mariani is out of position as a referee recovering from that injury. And that gives Sean the Hammer Striker time to recover with hit that double axe handle. Down he goes. Elbow drop right to the small of the back. Another shot, another elbow drop by the Hammer. Sean Stryker with a drop kick. Now this match has never before been shown on AWE programming. This is an exclusive match available only to those people who oh, were at Thanksgiving Carnage just past November. And right now, the hammer is in a bad way here. Purple Light number two had him in a bear hug. Oh, and he walked right into that DDT, planted head first. Sean Stryker's resilience and his ability to come up with a move where or ordinary wrestlers would not be able to find anything is what sets him apart. And what has set him apart here in AWE. And a lot of people would say he may have won. He could very well have won that casting match at Darkest Hour in December were not for the mysterious circumstances surrounding that foreign object that ended up in Matt Mariani's hands, allowing him to knock him out and throw him in the casket. And face first, face first, throws the hammer into that pillar. And the crowd demanding, oh! Stepped right on him. The crowd demanding that Purple Light number two use an ear of corn on the hammer. But he's having none of that as he applies an arm bar instead. Cars driving by here in Alfred, New York. John Stryker not ready to tap out yet. This move made famous by oh, the great Fujiwara. And the hammer trying to recover. Sean Stryker still unable to get to his feet. And Purple Light number two goes back to working on the small of the back of Sean Stryker. He has the height and the weight advantage, does Purple Knight number two, and the experience advantage. The veteran of many years in wrestling, but this hammer Sean Stryker with a nice drop kick, buys himself some time, and gets some distance between himself and his opponent. 
And now he's got a chair. I guess he's just gonna throw the rules out the window here. Oh, he caught him right in the head with that steel chair, knocking Brooklyn number two down and out. Desperation almost from the hammer. He'll do anything it takes to pick up the victory here. He goes for the cover. One, two, and somehow, some way, Purple Light number two was able to get the shoulder up. I'm not even sure if this is Purple Light number two must have really eaten his Wheaties today because he's putting up a heck of a fight. In that, I mean that he hasn't lost yet. Purple Light number two does not have a, a great one loss record, I'll say that much. But he is putting on a good showing here against the hammer. Sean Stryker looks like he's setting up for a spear, but I guess he's. Down he goes. Purple Light number two is down and out, and he goes for the cover. Cocky pin. Two. And wait a minute, Purple Light number two gets a takedown, and now he's going for a, looks like a slingshot, no, he rolls him over, rolling him over into a Boston Crab it looks like, Sean Stryker trying to fight it, and he can. Purple Knight number two has the Boston Crab on Sean Stryker, and look at the power in the legs of Sean Stryker, the hammer just flipped Purple Knight number two clear out of the ring after that Boston Crab attempt, but now both guys are down. Purple Knight number two struggling to get back in the ring. Sean Stryker just struggling to get to his feet and find his opponent. And now the hammer waiting. Waiting for his opponent to get back in here. And double clothesline. They each went for a clothesline and they both go down. Referee not even going to try and count these guys down because we want a clear winner here. And Sean Stryker is back up. He rolls up and gets back up to his feet. And hear the applause for that. And he's setting up for it. Looks like this could be curtains for Purple Knight number two. Purple Knight number two doesn't know it yet, of course, as he's trying to get to his feet, trying to figure out what's going on here. And right now, he walks right into a spear. No, he dodged it. He got out of the way of that spear. And the hammer just went right into that post. That's a solid, solid oak post, I think. And now he's choking him out. Purple Knight number two choking out the hammer, who could be really debilitated after that shoulder sh right into the post. And now Purple Knight number two. Oh, he gets caught with a spear out of nowhere. Buries the shoulder right into the gut. And it goes for the cover. One, two. Purple Knight number two somehow able to kick out. This is probably the best match of Purple Knight number two's career. He's putting up a heck of a fight here against the hammer. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I give you. More kicks. Elbow drop. Another stomp by the hammer. Sean Stryker really working over Purple Knight number two, who's in a bad way at this point in time. Off the on the top now. The hammer coming off, it looks like, and meets nothing but boom. Big kick. And now he's trying to go for a cover. Purple Knight number two. He's trying to cover him, he's on his stomach. And now there's the cover. One, two. That would have been one of the biggest upsets in AWE history. I can tell you that right now. And now he's opening up with those right hands. Frustration setting in for Purple Knight number two. Now with the headbutts. And now it looks like he's, he's reaching for something. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. But now it looks like he's going to try and blast him. Oh! Blasts him right between the legs. Blatant low blow. And Sean Stryker is in a bad, bad way. Let's just leave it at that. Purple Knight number two, cover. One, two. Stryker able to get the shoulder up before the count of three. Another shot right to the midsection. I'll say this, at least Matt Mariani's officiating has been, hasn't been the strongest, but at least it's been impartial. Right hand from Sean Stryker. Struggling to get to his feet against Purple Knight number two. Bulldog, oh, he took his mask off. He unmasked Purple Knight number two. He unmasked him. He puts the mask back on him and, oh, jeez. Is that face even human? Good grief. Oh. Looks like he was set on fire and put out with an ax. At, at any rate, Sean Stryker just caught him with a spear takedown. And that could do it right here. Cover one. Two, three, we have a winner. The Hammer Sean Stryker picking up the victory over Purple Knight number two.
The Hammer Sean Stryker picks up the win. Could that be a harbinger for what's to come in just a few short days at AWE Guilty is Charged? We'll find out as we run down a full preview of the event on next week's show. We thank you very much for watching this edition of Friday Fury. And don't forget, Guilty is Charged is coming up in just a few short days. January 28th at the AWE Arena. AWE's biggest event ever. We hope to see you there.